I'm going to show you how to conquer iMovie like a pro. Drop test. Gaming. How to videos. This is the computer drop. I'm going to show you guys how to do a professional video or movie with iMovie. Now you can do as much as you want and to the limit of how much space you have on your hard drive or SSD or external hard drive something along those lines now when you go to iMovie here you see that there's a preferences here and show advanced tools um, I would highly recommend doing that and you know that's really nice so that is just really something I wanted to show you guys before we really jumped into anything now to create a movie you are just going to go to click the little plus tab and you can name it, you can choose a theme or a trailer of some sort. Now, I will actually create a new one and we'll just call it the Mac Mini Demo. I'm going to create it, I usually don't choose a theme or anything along those lines. Now this is one that I recently uploaded. Ah, how to change the RAM in a Mac Mini. So I guess we can use some of these. Now, to do something, you can completely highlight it, or you can just highlight a section of something. So say I just want to highlight the first uh, 10 seconds. And you can just drag this right down. And so, you know, that's really nice. And you can adjust the volume to 500 or to zero. And obviously, you might say, why would you do zero? Well, you can record a voiceover here, and they give you clear, crisp audio compared to one that your camera might not get it as much. Or, you know, something along those lines. Well, now you may say, you know, why do we do that? Well, maybe I want to show the first 10 seconds of this, or we'll say the first 7 seconds. And I have all of these that I can choose from, and you can choose just audio on it, which is really nice if you prefer one audio over the other. And, you know, you can just do replace from start, replace, stuff like that, or picture in picture. Now, that is where you get the effect of it goes up in the top right corner. Now, we also have the ability here. I'll just hit the delete key, maybe. No. And we'll just delete that. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Well... You know, there's a lot of things that you can choose from, where some of them <laughs> actually, uh, like, cuts over top of it and plays it at the same time. Now, if I just want the audio of it, obviously, I'll just get the audio. Now, that is something really nice. Well, you see a lot of people that create titles or, like, I have an intro for my videos, uh, as you have seen. And I'll just go over to my other event, and there's my one that I created completely in iMovie. There's that. And, you know, just a way to do this is I'm gonna delete this right here. Is you can go to the little T and you can choose you know, just like a title that you'd really want. And you can do like Star Wars. You know, something that you guys really like. And you can obviously add like pictures or your transitions between videos here or music or places or you know whatever and uh... a way to create an event is you're just gonna right click up here and uh, this is we well, can move the event to trash you gotta make sure that you aren't like highlighted on something but you should be able to create an event very easily uh, so that's really nice there. Alright, something else is you can import from your camera 
which is Command I, or you can import from like uh, movies or whatever, and now will put it into your event, and you know you can finalize. And then something that I find really cool is the clip you can take and you can put it in a slow motion to 50% slower or 20 times faster, and you can even instant replay it 50%. And, you know, you can really just have it fade. Stuff like this, you know, stuff that is really nice. And so I'm going to show you guys just kind of, you know, this is just some of the effects that I've used. And as you can see, this is a voiceover recording here. And this is at 100% 100, 100 just for the audio. And you can access that audio adjustment here very simple and you can do a clip adjustment you know 100 percent you can even if i go back into there add like a voice enhancer you know stuff like that that enhances your voice obviously you know just some of the stuff like that and with some of the transitions like I was talking about, you know, you can add a transition here to spin into a new part or just whatever. And uh, this will be a video that I've released and pre-recording. But, you know, those are just some of the things that you can do. And the reason I said professional video is because in a lot of professional videos, you'll see, you'll see like dual screening or, you know stuff like that and I'm not really sure here but if you do have dual screen and I'm in the wrong project if you do have dual screen here if I can find it you should be able to um, adjust like cropping that and you can just decide that it's on and it's speed you can adjust it's audio effect and you know just stuff like that and you can even zoom in on there if you really want to the video you can adjust like color, exposure, exposure anything like that and check cropping and rotation there and cropping and rotation here and we'll actually fit it and we'll see if that looks better when yeah I see when you do that whole side by side it doesn't give you a full screen it just gives you like half of the screen uh, it can be useful in some ways but um when you look at it I will obviously adjust that you know you can go ahead and when you have a project that you just want to fly in there and we'll go ahead and we'll just drag it on top and we'll do a picture in picture for the heck of it you can adjust the size of the picture in picture and that way you're getting close to fully, uh, two full videos into one uh... you know as i was saying you, you can adjust you know i want to go from here now you know drag down to zero or one i want from here and i'll drag it up to five hundred you know stuff along those lines and you know just kind of stuff like that but you know I will actually show you guys, like, a, I could show you voiceover, but I'm actually recording a voice right now. And there's something else that you can do, is if you're trying to do a voiceover and you have to see the screen, you can just click on the bottom and drag it, or you can adjust, and you can swap these two if you want to do your editing down here first, you know, obviously. And... You can obviously adjust it again, like I said. I always prefer to have it down here, but if I really need to switch it, I can. And you can adjust the time length per frame. 
I always do five seconds because that's just what's always been there. So I really hope this video has helped you guys. If so, leave a like. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.